In this video, you're going to learn how to embed a Word document directly into Canvas so that if you make a change to this document, it will show up directly in your, in your document on Canvas and you don't have to continually upload documents when you make a small change to them. Um, our district uses Microsoft Office products, so we'll be looking at how to embed a Word document. And the same um, things are true for um, Microsoft PowerPoint and I believe also Excel. So today we're going to focus on the just one Word document. And if there's time in our video, I try to limit them to 10 minutes. Uh, I'll work on another one with you as well. The first thing you want to do is open up your OneDrive. And if you're not sure how to get there, you can get there from um, going to Outlook, uh, going to the USG 383 website and clicking on Outlook. And then from there, using your waffle to get to OneDrive, which is also how you can get to any other products. From here, I'm going to choose a document to work with. So I'm going to choose my documents for Canvas file and open up my Canvas Instructor Cheat Sheet. I'm going to close the other one that I had open earlier. And you'll notice that I put this as a change in here. I'm going to take that out. I was just demonstrating something earlier. Okay. Now I want to share this document. And there are a couple of different ways I can do this. For this video, I'm going to show you um, how to do it through this File option. So we're going to click on File. And then we are going to click on share. We're going to click share with other people. This is a really important step because this is how we determine that anybody with a link can access this file. So then we're going to click apply. Then I need to copy the link for that. And this link is going to be unique to this file and to that permission. Now I need to open up a Word document or a notebook document, some place that I can store that link. I'm going to paste it here. And what this is is basically the URL for um, getting to this document on the internet. Now I've copied my link. Now I need to get my embed code. I'm going to go back to file, back to share, and then embed. So this helps me to embed the file. You can change some of this information here. I'm going to go ahead and change my height pixels here. I like to have at least 300 pixels in my height, but I'm going to leave my width pixels alone. If you want to change them here, you can. 800 is a good one um, to put it out if you want it to be more full size page. But I'm going to show you how to do that in the HTML in just a minute. So we're going to copy all of this text. If you put your cursor in there and you can do control C or right click and copy, either one will work. If you're on a MacBook, it's Command C. And then we're going to click Close and go back to that Word document. So Microsoft's um, embed codes don't actually work very well, so we have to change them. And the way that we change these embed codes is to is to look for the URL in our iframe and replace it with the URL from our link up here. So I know that the URL is going to URL is going to start with https, so I look for that and it's always going to come after the src equals quotation mark. One of the things we need to make sure we're doing is leaving the quotation mark in place. And then the other thing we need to make sure we're doing is leaving the ampersand in place. So we can actually get rid of everything up to the ampersand, just the first ampersand that you see though. So we're going to take out everything from the dot, from the HTTPS to the equal sign and click delete. Now we can take our HTTPS, copy it, our URL, copy it and paste it right in there. And then we need to look for any spaces. So we need to make sure we have no spaces in our URL. Now I told you we could adjust the, the width later, and this is the part where we adjust the width. So be careful not to mess with any quotation marks or anything because that will um, make it difficult to um, see your, your document. Um, and if you mess this up, it can be a little bit tricky to figure out exactly what went wrong. 
it's always you can always troubleshoot and you can always redo the URL or the embed code. Now that your URL is within your embed code, you're good. All you need to do is copy this and go over to your Canvas page. Click on your Oops, let me delete this one out of here. Okay. Click on your insert edit media embed and then paste your code here and click OK. The other place you could have pasted your code is right here under the HTML editor where you could click there and then click OK. Either one of those would be just fine. If you forgot to update your width, this would be a good place to do that. After you've embedded it, you can come back into your HTML and you can change it there. Now you're going to update your syllabus and it looks, it looks great. So now when someone makes a change or when you make a change to your syllabus, or in this case to my Canvas instructor cheat sheet, it's going to automatically show up over here for people to see. So I can update my document outside of Canvas and it will update inside of Canvas. I know that's a long, complicated process, but I think it will save you a lot of time if you're going to be working on the same document over a long period of time instead of downloading and uploading it again. Um, so we have a few more minutes left on our time. So let me open up a PowerPoint and we can show you how to do the same thing um, and what buttons you need to look for in the PowerPoint. So I'm going to go back to my OneDrive. I'm going to look in my files for one of my PowerPoints. So I've got a parent orientation from a long time ago when I was teaching sixth grade. And from here you would do the same thing. You would click on your file You would click on share, share with people, specify anyone with the link, apply, copy the link. I'm going to go back to my Word document and paste it. Now I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint, click on file, click on share, find that embed code. Now this I have some more choices with because um, it's a it's a PowerPoint slide, so I want to make it user friendly, and so I want it to be big enough that they can see, but not overwhelmingly big. And this size tends to be a pretty good size, 722 by 565. And I also have some interaction settings, so we can use the default auto advanced system settings from the file if you have those in place. If you don't, that's okay. The user can interact with the PowerPoint on their own time. So then you can copy that embed file and click close, go back to your Word document, enter that in there, and this we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take out that URL all the way from the H in HTTPS to that ampersand. That first ampersand is what you're always looking for. Delete that out, copy your URL. Oops, let me undo that because I just pasted it in there. Copy your URL, paste it in, remove those spaces and then copy your embed code and you're in good shape to go ahead and paste that right into your canvas page. So I'm going to actually uh, put it right after this document. Insert edit media, embed, paste my code, click OK and now you'll see that my PowerPoint is now embedded and students can interact with my PowerPoint directly in here. I don't have to save it as a, um, oh my goodness, these kids graduated last year. That's awesome. So I don't, I don't have to put it in here as a PDF or anything for my students to interact with it. They can interact with it exactly like I'd like them to. So I'm going to click update syllabus. And now you'll see that I have both of my documents right here on the same page. Both of them are embedded and both can be interacted with. Um, Excel, an Excel file would be much the same way. If you have questions, please send them to me, lisaj at usd383.org. Thank you so much.